beautiful beaters, it's Gina from OrchidandOpal.com and today we're going to be making this fun Vex Solo and Wybe Duo, they're both two whole bead shapes, bracelet and it's called the Deco Bracelet. I came up with this as something special because Eureka Crystal Beads is now going to be carrying the Wybe Duo and Vex Solo beads in a wide variety of colors which is super fun. And you only need those two shapes and 15-0 seed beads to complete this design. I will also be using two beading needles today. I'll be using a size 10 and also some six pound or 0 .006 inch diameter fire line. And I like to finish off the bracelet with some wire guards just to keep it sturdy and professional looking. So if you have those, I definitely suggest using them or picking some up. Also some jump rings and the clasp of your choice. I will leave all the links and a full materials list right down below the video and it will have links to take you directly to the products that I'm using today. All right guys, so I have both of my needles threaded and I will leave the quantity of thread that is ideal right down below the video in the materials list. And we are going to jump right in with our wire guard. So I'm gonna take the wire guard and put one needle through each side of that just like this and we want to bring this down to the center of our thread so just pull that down and nestle the thread right there in the groove and then take a moment to separate the thread and needle on each side so i have my left hand needle and my right hand needle and our thread is separated and we want to string on two 15 o's on each side of our thread so we're going to do that and pull those down. You don't have to pull it all the way down yet as long as you get those past your needle. And then we want to pick up one of our wibe duos and we wanna pick up that first wibe duo just like this where we have one needle going through each side. And now we can pull all of these down to our wire guard and we can take a look. And that is what we have so far. And what we're gonna do is complete the middle channel of the bracelet, and then we're gonna swing back around and complete either side. So it's gonna feel a little loose at first because we're gonna have additional holes that haven't been gone through in our two hole beads, but it will tighten up nicely as we go. So take a minute to separate your thread again, get yourself situated. Also, you want to take note of what side of your wide duo is facing up. If you take a close look at these beads, you'll notice they're kind of like a pillow shape with the top being rounded and then they have a flat bottom. So from here on out, you wanna make sure that you are beading your wide duos on all in the same direction. They're facing the same way. All right, so once again, I have both needles separated in each hand and we want to pick up a 15-0 on each needle and you can slide those down. And then we wanna pick up a wide duo on each needle. And I have the right needle in my hand and I'm going through the left hand side of a wide duo, which is gonna leave the hole on the right hanging out. So with your right hand needle, go through the left side of your wide duo and take note that I have the rounded portion facing up. So if I pull that down, you can see this one side, that is what we are going for. Both wide duos are facing in the same direction and I've got this open hole on the right. Now let's do the same thing, mirroring that on the left, picking up a 15-0 and then picking up a wide duo, this time on the right side and leaving the left hand hole hanging open. And we'll pull these down and we're ready to string on our last wide duo that is going to make up this little diamond shape made of four beads. And we have our open holes on either side there, which we will take care of in another step. But to finish off this little section, let's pick up a 15-0 on each side. And you can pull those down past your needle. And now we're going to be picking up a wide duo just like we did with the first one with both needles going through each side of the bead. Let's pull that down. And there is the beautiful start to our bracelet. Now, are you ready to add some Vexolos? Let's get started with that section. First, we're gonna be picking up again a 15-0 on each side. 
And then we're gonna be picking up three vexolos on each side, and these are also a bead. You wanna take note of what side you have facing up. The top of these beads have that extra detail, and the peak at the top and the bottom of the bead is completely flat. We are going to be picking these up in this manner and going through the hole that is on the narrow end of the vexolos. So you can go through three of those all through that narrow end and all facing in the same direction. And then we're going to finish that side up by picking up one more 15-0. Now let's mirror that on the right hand side. We already have a 15-0 on our needle and I'm gonna pull that down and we're gonna pick up three vexolos, all going in the same direction and all through the narrow sides. They're gonna to sit together and make a little fan shape in our design. So I'm just going through all three of those and I'm also gonna pick up one 15-0 and there's the Vexolo section done. So we're just gonna be repeating this pattern, the group of four wives, and then the group of six Vexolos until you're happy with the length of your bracelet. I like to repeat this seven times and then end on a group of four wide duos. But if you wanna make this longer or shorter, you can adjust that accordingly. Let's do one more section together just like this. I'm gonna go a little bit faster and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so wide duo facing up, putting that on both needles, a 15 0 on each side, and a wide duo on each side with the open hole hanging out. Then we're going to pick up another 15 0 on each needle. And finish this little section off by going through one more wide duo with both needles. Pulling all of that together. And then completing another section of Vexolos by first picking up a 15-0 and three Vexolos through the narrow end all facing up. And finishing off with one 15-0. And then the other side, one 15 -0. and one, two, three Vexolos and a 15 -0. pulling that down. So just continue on in the same manner until you have reached the desired length of your bracelet. Here is the example piece. And like I said, I like to complete seven of those groups and then end with another set of four Wibe duo. So I will meet you back when we go through that last Wibe duo and then we will proceed with the next step. All right, everyone, welcome back. So we are at this end of our bracelet and we are ready to put on our other wire guard. So with my right hand needle, I'm going to mirror what we did over here and pick up two 15 OC beads as well as one side of the wire guard and string that down to our work. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, going through two 15 OC beads, pulling those down, and going through the other side of the wire guard, pulling that all together. And there we go. So at this point, you want to take a look at your bracelet, make sure all the beads are facing in the right direction and nothing is flipped around on you. Also give that a little pull and make sure that you don't have any big gaps of thread anywhere, that everything's sitting straight and flat and tight within reason. So this time we're gonna swing our needles around going in the opposite direction. Let me scooch this this way so it's a little bit easier for me to work. So I'm taking the needle that was on the left side and now I'm gonna swing it around through the wire guard and through those other two seed beads right there. And pull that, making sure your thread sits in the groove of the wire guard and not off to the side. And pull your other thread as well to keep everything nice and tight. And repeat that on the other side. So I'm taking what was my right hand needle, swinging it around through the wire guard and through those two seed beads that are on the side of that. 
and pull. And now both of our threads are ready to go in the opposite direction toward the other end of our bracelet. We are done with our Vexolo beads and our Wibe Duo beads, so if you want to clear those away, you certainly can. And we are left with just our 15 O's to finish up this bracelet. We have one more step to complete, and we're gonna do the same thing on both sides. You can do both sides at once, or you can do one side all the way and then complete the other. It's totally up to you. I'm gonna show you the steps on the right-hand side, and then you will just repeat the same exact thing on the left before we finish up our bracelet. So once we're coming out of the two seed beads here by the wire guard, we wanna pick up five 15 O's and slide those down, and then go directly through the open hole of that second Wibe Duo bead that you get to. Just like that. And now all we're gonna be doing is filling in each one of these gaps with one 15 OC bead all the way down, super simple. So I'm picking that up just cause it's easier for me to hold as I'm beading. And I'm gonna pick up one 15 O and go right through the outer hole of the next Vexolo. It's gonna start to fan out these shapes a little bit. I'm gonna pick up another 15 O, go through the next open hole of the Vexolo. Another 15 O and through the next open hole of the third Vexolo. Then we get to our Wibe Duos again. Same thing though, just pick up a 15 O and pass through the open hole of the Wibe Duo, just like that. You're gonna keep doing this exact same thing all the way down on both sides. So the only thing that's different is at first adding those five 15 O's before you get started with that. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other end. So continue on in that manner on both sides and we'll meet back when we're coming out of this last group of Wibe Duos and we will finish up our bracelet together. All right guys, so I have completed one side. I actually already added on the five seed beads, went through the two here, went around the wire guard, down these two, and just continued to knot off my thread. I made several half hitch knots along the way and then hid my thread and clipped that off. So I'm left with one side and we will finish this together. So once you're coming out of this last Wibe Duo before you get to the one where it's centralized, you wanna pick up five more of your 15 O seed beads to mirror what you did on the other side and pull those down. And then you're gonna go through the two seed beads on that side right before the wire guard. And if you can only get through one at a time, that's okay. I'm going through the other one and up through the wire guard and I like to pull the bracelet pretty tight. You'll notice when you do pull it, the Wibe Duos start to raise a little bit toward the top, which I actually like. It gives the bracelet a little bit more texture and it still sits very nicely. So feel free to pull that as much as you like and make that super tight and get that little bit of a bubbled up effect in the center. So now I'm gonna swing around my wire guard through there. I'm gonna go through the next two seed beads and I'm going to go down this wide duo and make my first knot right there in between that and that seed bead and repeat that a couple more times and you can do this as much as you like if you have excess thread you can continue on through your whole piece if you'd like to and just add a little bit more strength but you definitely don't have to especially if you're using a very sturdy thread like fire line. All right, so I'm gonna finish off right here, clip off my thread. Doesn't that look great? I love how this comes together. And now we can take our pliers and attach our clasp, just using a toggle clasp, very basic one. We'll put on our other side.
And that is the Vexolo Wide Duo Deco Bracelet. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was certainly fun for me to bring you this new pattern and design. And as usual, I hope it was easy for you to follow and most importantly, fun for you to make. As a reminder, I will leave links to all the products down below the video so that you can check out all the Vexolos, the Wide Duos, the seed beads that Eureka Crystal Beads has to offer. They have a wide range of colors. Once again, here is the variety done in black and gold. They both make such beautiful statements and I'm so glad you were able to join me today. So if you like this video, I'd love for you to give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe because I'd love to have you and that way you will be aware when I post new content, which I do all the time. Also, while you're checking the links down below, I will have all my information listed for my social media handles where you can feel free to follow me there and my website and blog where I sell my finished pieces and patterns. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and as always, happy beating.